I'm very glad to see you here, and I hope you enjoyed my talk. Uh, today, I want to speak about uh, hidden gems in Django Country Padmin library. This is a, a long series of talks. I started to speak about it in 2021, and yeah, it, it, it is my fifth or sixth talk about Django Country Padmin. I work, who I am? I don't know. Um, I am uh, Maxim Danilov. I uh, work uh, like a software developer around 25 years. And nine, uh, last nine years, I work with Python uh, with, uh, and with Django. And last eight years, I work exactly with Django Country Padmin. Uh, uh, four years ago, I started to work also with uh, Vue.js and Nuxt.js, and um, I have a serious talks uh, also how Vue.js uh, works with Django together. Uh, okay, all examples you can find in the repository, all my talks you can find in the repository, and links to other video uh, talks you can find in the repository. Um, before I start, I want to uh, say special thanks for my previous team. Uh, Anastasia uh, always created uh, for me design of presentation. Uh, Pavel Pelikin uh, implemented all my crazy idea, and uh, Martin Achenreiner tested it. Uh, folks, I miss you, but yeah, something happens, and we try to see what happens in future. Uh, also, special thanks for my family. Uh, thank you uh, for my wife who supported me. Uh, thank you for my children. They uh, wait me at home. And thank you for my animals, uh, Marcel and Kisa. And uh, thank you for companies who support me on this conference. Uh, nobody uh, is here. And yeah, I don't know who appears here on the next talks. Uh, okay, basic steps. Before we start to use um, Django Country Padmin, we should create a models. Uh, are you know about models in Django? Who knows about models in Django? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in this case, I create uh, two, three models. I create a shop, I create model uh, product, and I create model image. Uh, uh, every shop can contain many uh, products, uh, and uh, uh, every shop and every product can contain many uh, images. Uh, this is uh, only models. Uh, till this moment, uh, Django Country Padmin not works. Uh, before, we should create a model admins. Uh, I have created a model admin for a shop, model admin for product, and some inlines. I know about inlines in uh, model admin. Inlines as a possibility to change some uh, binded objects in form, in change form from parent objects. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I show a little bit later how it works. Okay. If you start your project uh, from, or example project from repository, you can see add form uh, for uh, shop, uh, for change data from shop. You can change title, you can change uh, description, and also in the same time you can add some products to shop, and in the same time you, get, uh, you can add some images to shop. Good or not, I cannot say, but this uh, possibility add uh, some products and add uh, some images is exactly inlines. We have inlines form in uh, parent form. Okay. In this talk, uh, I compile uh, knowledge about uh, creating uh, user-friendly and uh, developer-friendly uh, admin panel based on, uh, based on the mm, Django Country admin model. Uh, at first, we should to register uh, site admin, uh, but we should not register site admin. We should register uh, site admin config in our uh, settings PI uh, to start to work with uh, Django Country Admin uh, model. And in documentation, you can find this example. Uh, for my opinion, we can do something better. 
than in documentation. And uh, my offer to you uh, to create uh, application which I um, calls uh, admins, and I register this um, admins application like normal. Why? We c why we should to do it normally? Because uh, we can contain uh, readable. Uh, we can achieve readability in our settings PI. Uh, everybody who works with settings PI can remember how huge this uh, uh, this text can be, and that's why I try to contain readability from scratch. And. Uh, uh, this is the only, only possibility. You can do all what you want in Django. I offer you to do something uh, better on my opinion. And after that, uh, we should to register admin URLs. Also, in documentation, you can find uh, example. We register admin URLs if I work with paradigm uh, multiple admin sites. I should register, uh, manu uh, I should with hand write every um, URL in um, uh, URLs PI. I think this is also not good. Why? Because we can uh, make it automatically. Uh, in Django, we contain uh, one container which knows about every admin site. And after that, I ask from container uh, all admin sites, and I take name from uh, every admin site, and I register these URLs automatically. And after that, for me, it don't matter how many multiple admin sites I have, I have always only one line in admin uh, uh, in uh, URLs PI, uh, and and this all uh, happens automatically. It's uh, if I create new uh, new uh, admin URL, it comes automatically. And of course, for me, it is better. Uh, what I mean uh, about multiple admin URLs, uh, this multiple admin paradigm helped me to register uh, some model admins only on the one admin site. This other URL, I can register other model admin. And after, after that, I can protect uh, this URL group uh, by permission for, for user. For example, my translation can achieve only trans translation admin site. My content manager can achieve only uh, <laughs> content admin site. That's all. Uh, sometimes uh, finance uh, manager uh, or, uh, they, uh, or, or tax manager should go only to sales. And I can give the, them only one permission. You can achieve this multiple, uh, this admin si site or not. It's much, much, much better than uh, to work with permission on one admin site with whole list of uh, model admins. Who has more than 100 model admins on the admin site? Yeah, and this is possibility to split it on uh, many, many admin side and work easily. Okay, uh, mm, uh, but again, I like uh, automate all in Django. Django is funny. Django uh, uh, helped me fly fast and uh, with fun, but sometimes Django offer me to make something uh, unimportant. For example, I uh, should register model admin. Uh, it, this is standard example. I should import models, I should create model admins, and I should register uh, appropriately model with appropriately model admin. Too much work for me, exactly. Uh, what I want to do, I create a model admin auto register. And uh, after that, you, you don't need to read this code. You can uh, see it in the repository. But what happens? Uh, after that, I create admin PI. I write only model admins. And on start of my server, uh, auto register goes through full models, goes through, uh, through full admins, and appropriate model 
is registered with appropriate model admin. It's easy and I offer you, if you try the, do it one time, you, you, you cannot forget ab about it. Every time I put this, uh, this code in um, every new project because it's <laughs> amazing easy to work. Uh, next uh, step, model admin ordering. I don't know why creator of uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this element uh, put some logic against humanity. I don't know, I cannot answer why uh, they, uh, this uh, application and this model came in this order. I, I know, I know, of course. It is alphabetically order. But sometimes I want to set up myself. I want to decide myself uh, what, in which order it should uh, uh, came. And I can change it only with one line. Uh, I should override get up list from admin side, from every admin side. I made it like a, uh, like a mixing. And after that, uh, I can change order of uh, application uh, uh, appropriately order how I register my uh, apps in uh, setup, uh, setup pay. And after that, uh, order of uh, model admins uh, is exactly the same order how I define classes in models. It means I can swap shop and image, and image comes on the first place, shop comes on the second place. It's so easy, it's so nice. Try to do it. You, uh, of course, after that you understand what I mean. Django can be more easy, more funny. And I, I like Django, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, it, I mean, we can take control of uh, our project back. Not from, no, we can take control from Django developers and uh, they can take it in our hands. Okay, the big problem, uh, about this problem, I tell many times, every model admin is singleton. I know what means singleton. It means we have always in our, uh, on in our project, only one instance of model admin. Uh, wh why is this problem? Um, if I compare model admin and generic class-based views paradigm from Django, generic class-based views paradigm, as is uh, mm, uh, on the bottom of screen, uh, in this paradigm, on every request, we create a new instance of view. Uh, on the, uh, in model admin, we create, uh, we don't create any instances. It was created on the server start. Problem is, I cannot use this instance like a data container. I cannot store uh, mm, some results in this data container because if other user works in the same time with the same instance, they can overwrite my data. This is a problem, but also, if I solve this problem, also we can increase uh, speed. But some uh, computation uh, mm, mm, happens many times on one request. Uh, I have a um, uh, talk there I, can, uh, mm, I, there I can show nine times uh, calls one method, uh, uh, four times calls other method. I can cache these uh, uh, computations results. And how I can solve it? Solutions is easy, uh, only four lines. On every request, entry point is admin view on every admin side. On every request, I take this singleton instance, I create the copy of this instance, and I call uh, appropriate method of new instance. And this is easy, and it works. And every time on every request, right now I have the new instance of model admin. It, uh, we create this solution on Django 1.3, and after that, always we put this patch in our projects. What we can achieve if I store uh, uh, computations results uh, in cache, I can cache it in a data container. We can increase uh, 
uh, we can win around 20% of, uh, uh, of uh, response time. 20% is already say something, but I can increase more, um, uh, more I can win more time uh, uh, if I do something else. Uh, but uh, try to use it. I write some articles about it in internet. Uh, if you don't understand what, what I mean, you can try to read it in an article. Probably there uh, you can uh, understand better. Okay, next, uh, uh, next uh, element, Django admin actions. For my opinion, in Django Country admin, Django admin action, actions, this is the best uh, feature in full library. Uh, what I mean, Django admin actions help me to change many objects in one time. Uh, model admin give me interface, uh, crude interface to work with one object. Model admin actions give me interface uh, to change many objects in one time. But sometimes I want to work with actions in generic class-based view paradigm. Django offer us only functional uh, based view paradigm uh, in actions. How uh, can, can, I, uh, can I do something? Of course I can. I create a mixin uh, which uh, uh, only um, patch uh, view, uh, view class from uh, generic class based view. And this e uh, mixin helped me to uh, convert every uh, model admin action in generic class based views uh, action. Why I need it? At first, I can um, create action. Uh, um, in this action, I can set up some attributes and uh, I can create process. I can create child action from this action. I can override uh, only process or I can override only some, uh, only some attributes. And this is much flexible than works with functions. Uh, try it, and you c also cannot forget uh, this uh, technology uh, for model admin. I like it. But I should to say warning. Please don't use uh, default uh, action decorator from Django. This decorator not safety. Uh, I already tell it on the other talk. And this decorator cannot work with user permission, like, for example, standard uh, permission required uh, decorator from Django. I offer you simply to avoid this decorator. I uh, think it should be overridden in uh, Django core, uh, in Django country admin. Sorry. Uh, uh, warning. Um, how we can work with permission for actions, we can simply override uh, this uh, method from a model admin class, and after that, it, this all works. You can use it. For example, one permission, uh, mm, change, uh, change uh, quantity uh, for uh, products, can use, uh, uh, this action can use only stock manager, and I give this permission, and, and only stock manager can call this action. It's uh, important and uh, flexible. Okay, and uh, uh, we go to middle of my talk. Yep, and important thing. Who knows about uh, um, admin API uh, in Django? Yeah. Uh, by default, we have only two admin API, as is um, i18n, internalization API, and um, autocomplete view. But uh, sometimes I see many libraries uh, which create a new API for crude interfaces for uh, backend admin, and after that they create their own reactive uh, backend. But why they, they need to, to write this API? They already exist in Django. Uh, what I mean? All, only what I need from Django, I want to receive on every request instead of template uh, response. I want to receive JSON response. How it happens? It's easy. The same uh, view which I already overridden 
before. In this view, I catch every template response answer. Template is not rendered yet, and I take only context from template response, and I JSONize this context like a JSON answer. That's all. And in this moment, this two uh, with two lines of code, I achieve full uh, crude APIs for full model admins uh, in my project. I don't need any uh, Django REST framework for that. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, I have here uh, one trick. I use uh, standard Django serializer. I overrided it as uh, my JSON encoder. I like to write, uh, I, I like to use Django instead of other libraries. And in Django, we have also serializer possibility. And I use uh, Django serializer possibility in this solution. Okay, this is answer. Uh, mm, standard answer from uh, from example, you can start, you can uh, see it, and you receive the full information which you need to render template. Or you can use this information uh, on the front end to create some flexible uh, flexible backend uh, front end uh, for your manager. Okay. I only offer you, don't write uh, new crude admin API, they already exist. Uh, but sometimes uh, people tr want to, to create something new because they cannot find it in uh, existed uh, library. Okay, uh, in the middle of my talk, uh, uh, all features which I already uh, tell, uh, you can find on the video or and repository and go on and we goes uh, mm, why right in my talk uh, model admin get fields have a, and back um, probably you should know about it I create uh, my model title and slack I create two model admin in one model admin I declare fields like a fields attribute in other model admin I declare fields like a field set attribute and if I call model admin get fields and uh, for first uh, uh, for first uh, model admin I receive a title for second model admin I receive title and slack it means get fields not works normally in Django uh, and this not uh, solved yet and right now we goes to uh, deeper in Django admin global inlines sometime you can see change form appears and after that we have some inlines. But what if I want to put one inline somewhere in middle of admin form? Uh, I know many solution, they override templates, uh, I don't know, something else. But uh, in reality it's only two lines of code. Uh, I create uh, my read-only field, and, and on the render of this read-only field, I take from context uh, inline, and I render uh, this inline uh, on the read-only field. That's all. I, ta uh, I take from context inline, and I put this uh, inline instead of read-only field. But if I go deeper in this idea, what if I want to take some inline from other model admin and put this uh, inline in uh, inline on in uh, uh, place on read only field. This is nested inlines, which uh, already achievable from Django 1.3, but nobody knows about it. For only four lines of code, but uh, we have um, find. It works right now, you can use it, but we have some bugs, exactly bugs in uh, standard inline JS in uh, uh, default uh, Django. And uh, uh, my team, we have completely overridden this uh, inline JS. You can use it uh, from repository. Don't matter, use you, uh, I want to use nested inlines or not. Uh, my inline JS already uh, already remove some bugs from old inline JS. Okay, 
uh, many to many truth model, and I need uh, one idea. If I use truth uh, model uh, in uh, Django, uh, custom truth model for many to many, I cannot uh, change it uh, in model admin. I receive an error, but not for me. Uh, if I use instead of, <laughs> if I use instead of uh, a standard model, uh, 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 if I only change one attribute in meta, auto created, I add this attribute in meta, automatically it works. But please avoid it if you don't understand how it works. But it can mm, uh, can be painful in in future we use it uh, already three years this possibility okay uh, once once uh, um, possibilities uh, I want to sell, uh, say okay the first uh, uh, in model admin form we have a related widget wrapper uh, if I have some object from our table uh, uh, appears uh, some icons, speci special icons. Uh, uh, sorry, this uh, widget is hard coded in uh, Django admin, and I I want to throw away some icons. How I can do it? You can see on video my investigation and um, offers, but the best solution uh, we can uh, say for widget, please can view related uh, files attribute. And after that, the view possibility disappears. Uh, this is easy, but we uh, go deeper and related fields with autocomplete. Autocomplete already exists in Django uh, from 2.0, uh, but we don't have uh, many documentation about it. And, uh, and uh, it's easy to set up. But sometimes it works, but sometimes I want to see uh, from uh, land uh, United States of America only region for United States of America, dependent fields. How I can, how I can change it? It's easy. It works uh, like a charm. Uh, you, can, you can see it, uh, United Kingdom. How it works? Of course, with autocomplete. I should only override get search result in uh, child uh, model admin, and I should uh, to, uh, to give information for parent select, which child select should be, should be changed. And it works. We uh, created for, for that small search uh, JS um, script, but very important, we have found some bugs in autocomplete JS, uh, def default autocomplete JS in Django. And my team, we have overridden this autocomplete JS and removed some bugs. It's uh, also in the repository. Okay, last uh, idea which I want to say today, model admin form, object state versioning. M we have many libraries which help me uh, to, uh, to keep version of object state. Uh, who ever seen this stupid construction? I have created it. But we should not do it. Why? Uh, we can uh, use uh, log entry, sorry, uh, error, not log item, log entry. Uh, Django contrib admin write on every state changes uh, the uh, information about state. The last row, uh, action time um, uh, from last row, this is change time. The action time from first row for this object, this is creation time. User from the last, uh, last row is a last editor. Creator from the first row, uh, uh, user from the first row is uh, uh, creator. And if I use subquery, uh, I can create only one uh, asking database, and it works like a charm uh, right now. You can see, for example, uh, st last uh, state changes happens in uh, uh, Yuli for this product object. 
and we can state changes used for form safe. Uh, how? Uh, simply, I use this uh, data stamp uh, like a versioning, and on the safe, I check last stamp. Uh, I check last stamp um, uh, like a like a version number. It works. Uh, you can use it. And summary from my talk. If you want to write something, probably it already exists in Django. If you're a Django programmer, try to work with Django, not with Python. And try to learn Django. Don't matter, have your documentation or not. Make Django, not bar. Thank you. <laughs>